With this short tutorial, I hope to alleviate some of the confusion students often have over the meaning of the high and low pressure ports of a differential pressure transmitter. If we look closely at the sensing cell, we will notice two letter labels, a letter H and a letter L. The H represents the high side of the sensing cell. The letter L represents the low side of the sensing cell. H stands for high, L stands for low. And at first that may seem to imply to someone that this port must be at a higher pressure than the low port. And that is not the case. Really what these letters designate is the direction of impact that an applied pressure at either port will have on the output signal of the transmitter. For example, let's say the transmitter were arranged in such a way so that with no pressure applied, or should I say equal pressures applied to both ports, that is no differential pressure, let's say that the output of the transmitter is 12 milliamps, which is a 50% signal, right in between 4 milliamps and 20 milliamps. So, no pressure applied, 12 milliamp output. If I then apply a positive pressure to the high side, that will drive the milliamp signal higher. So a positive pressure applied here will drive that milliamp signal from 12 milliamps up to some greater value, 13, 14, 50, maybe all the way up to 20 milliamps. Conversely, if I apply a positive pressure to the low side, the low port of this transmitter, remember that it, we were at 12 milliamps with these two ports at equal pressure. If I then apply a greater pressure to the low side, that will drive the milliamp signal lower. So, the pressure applied here may drive the signal to 11 milliamps, 10 milliamps, 9, or maybe all the way down to 4. So the idea with the high and low labels is that we are describing the direction of impact that an applied pressure will have on the milliamp signal. It does not necessarily mean that the pressure at the high side will be greater than the pressure at the low. It may be, it may not. It really depends on the application. For example, we may use this differential pressure transmitter to measure flow through a pipe by measuring the pressure dropped across an orifice. Now, if the orifice in that pipe is a concentric square edge orifice that's symmetrical from either direction of approach, that means it has the ability to measure flow in two directions. So, for example, if the flow is going from left to right, and that means the left-hand side is a greater pressure than the right-hand side, and we have the transmitter connected to either side of that plate, then as a flow of fluid moves from left to right, it will have a greater pressure here, a lesser pressure here, and that will drive the milliamp signal upwards. So greater flow from left to right, more milliamp signal. Conversely, if we take that same concentric orifice, square edge, symmetrical in both directions, connected to the same transmitter, and now we pass a fluid flow from the right-hand side to the left-hand side, now the low-pressure port will be at a greater pressure than the high-pressure port, and a flow in that direction will drive the milliamp signal down. So now we have a bi-directional flow measurement device. Flow left to right, signal up. Flow right to left, signal down. So that means, it tells us, it is not necessarily true that the high pressure port will always be at a higher pressure than the low. It really depends on the application. All the high and low pressure labels mean is that a pressure applied to the high side tends to drive the signal up, and a pressure applied to the low side tends to drive the signal down.